I am Dr. Sharjeel and you are watching my YouTube channel. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel at the end. Now today, I am presenting you this 22 years old female patient who presented to me three months back for the first time with complaints of severe headaches and decreased vision. When I examined her vision was counting finger, pupil were mid dilated and non reactive and on fundoscopy I saw extreme bulging of both optic discs. I had never seen such a severe papilledema in my whole life. When I asked for the duration of the disease, when the headaches first started they showed me a file and she was seen by many other doctors, psychiatrists, physicians in the last six months except ophthalmologists. Ophthalmologist opinion was not taken though when you have a headache complaint and it is not resolving with a medical treatment ocular examination is mandatory anyhow I sent uh, I advised her urgent uh, MRI and sent her to my neurologist uh, friend on MRI uh, she was diagnosed uh, with an exophytic brainstem glioma and we then referred her to a neurosurgeon and he operated her excise the tumor and also put a ventricular peritoneal shirt shunt for that severe raised ICP her papilledema resolved but when she again showed me after a gap of three months her vision now is PL positive both eyes with fixed non-reactive mid dilated pupils and bilateral optic atrophy. Now this optic atrophy occurred due to persistently raised intracranial pressure for many months that could have been avoided had someone performed fundoscopy. So fundoscopy is an art which is mandatory in any headache patient and it could have saved the vision of this young female patient and now she has got a non-reactive pupils, wandering movements and chalky white optic discs I have shown in detail the how the optic atrophy looks uh, optic atrophy have got two types uh, major types primary optic atrophy and secondary optic atrophy so the optic atrophy that uh, occurs after optic disc swelling uh, after papilledema that is called secondary optic disc secondary optic atrophy so we have shown you a patient of secondary optic atrophy and now irreversible damage has been done and nothing we can do to bring her vision back so i will stress in my video that interspeciality referral is mandatory and we can help lives as well as vision of many patients Thank you very much.